Hi everybody, Scott here. In this video, we're going to look at the inquisitive empath living in a psychopathic world. And so this video is probably for a minority of my viewers, uh, potentially. Although I think there, there could be enough um, subscribers that will identify with this video. Essentially talking about the type of um, empath, or I'd even say the type of intuitive as well, that has that, that inquisitive nature that, that seeks out truth um, in this world and as a result can brush up against and then be exposed to um, the darker sides of this world um, as they're seeking to find out the truth of this world. Um, so if that, if that um, description um, resonates with you, feel free to, to keep watching and I'm just going to share some of my own thoughts around this this issue, um, this strength, and also its vulnerabilities, things to look out for, things to consider, so that you're protecting yourselves from what you discover as you um, seek the truth. So part of this video actually came from a uh, comment on a, on a YouTube, uh, one of my YouTube videos, um, just asking for some feedback or some pointers about how to deal with this issue of sort of being drawn into um, looking into uh, things that are going on around the world and yet being really heavily impacted emotionally from what is being discovered yet can't not continue to um, look into it. Um, so this video will be uh, incorporating that idea and hopefully expanding it a little bit to making it more uh, universal to um, uh, hopefully others that are watching this. Those that are seeking truth end up looking into um, alternative forms of media and so on to find out what's going on behind the scenes. That sometimes the uh, main uh, sources of um, where we get our information from are not always accurate, if not completely, um, completely inaccurate. And so um, people seek alternative ways of finding out information that could lead down many different paths. Some of them just completely crazy. Some of them um, interesting but unhelpful. And some of it um, is real and happening and uh, can be of a disturbing nature. Um, so we could talk, be talking about um, uh, people tra uh, trafficking or child uh, trafficking uh, we could be talking about um, uh, uh, some of the humanitarian disasters that are going on around the world. Um, there could be a whole range of things that, that we can discover when we start looking into what's going on on this planet. So for the inquisitive empath that um, has a desire to find truth, can uh, in in their researching and in their quest for um, finding out what's really going on in this world. Um, there's a danger of coming up against dark themes, um, dark forces, and just things that are disturbing, essentially. So a key question um, for people that this resonates with is the question of you know what's really going on in the world? What's really happening behind the scenes? What's what's really happening? And um, and there's a, essentially there is a a value uh, for the inquisitive empath to seek out the truth of that and what what does that what is there what is there to discover? And that can be for a variety of reasons, but I think on one level what it, what it does, I think, indirectly, if you like, because it's not necessarily done for this reason, but that researching and inquiring about the world and what's going on in it um, stimulates intuition. It stimulates that outside of the box thinking and uh, reading in between the lines and figuring out, you know, what are the puppet strings, you know, behind what I'm seeing here and who's who's got their hand on the puppet strings and things like that. Um, so it re can really stimulate intuition. And that can be, in a sense, a hook 
into continuing. Uh, there are other elements to it that I'll go into, but just on an intuitive um, perspective, um, there can be a, a, a further pulling into um, that research, let's say, um, because it has it stimulates the intuition. It stimulates um, uh, the, the abstract thinking that intuitives have. Um, from the empathy side, um, when someone starts to research the world and what's going on in it, uh, we'll quickly discover that there are a lot of people that are being harmed in this world. And that can stimulate the empath's heart um, to want to rescue and to want to fix and advocate for and figure out you know, what is really going on and who's doing it. And that is a noble uh, quest, you know, Empaths are required for for partly that reason, that they want to eliminate pain, um, expose uh, those causing the pain, and and fix things, heal things. The problem is is that empaths can actually harm themselves in the pursuit of trying to help others or to rescue others from harm. Now, of course, when people do research into um, into this world, and I'm going to keep it very general to keep it out of um, to keep this topic out of various um, talking points, perhaps. But um, we seem to be living in a time where there is a a dark underbelly that's going on on this planet. Let's put it that way: that is slowly being uncovered and exposed. And that is a, uh, a very good thing. And um, it's happening, it, it appears to be happening on a mass scale. Um, and it's going to happen, for the most part, without our help. Um, it's not that we can't be involved in it to some degree, but it is happening. And there seems to be a time now where the truth is being revealed in many forms. And with that is going to come uh, very possibly an exposing of, of some things on this planet of a, of a horrific nature that um, is uh, probably beyond what our own imaginations could come up with. And it's important that empaths uh, specifically for this video take care of themselves um, if and when that eventuates. So it's important to identify one's own limits when it comes to the things that they're exposing themselves to. So there might be certain topics that are being researched that just are just too confronting, they're just too distressing, I would even say traumatic, to be too fully um, gone into. Uh, there might be other elements of things that are being researched, other other areas that don't seem to be as confronting, um, and that would probably be a more worthwhile area to to continue to explore. However, um, it is just worthwhile noting what just what just is, impacts me too strongly, and that I need to just not put myself in that position. Now, for me personally, I have. Um, my heart is tremendously affected when I see harm done to children. And um, I was in a situation uh, about a week ago where I was um, um, uh, watching a video and they mentioned that there was something that they wanted to show to expose something going on in the world uh, at the end of the video that was of a disturbing nature. And it caught my... Um, my in my intuition, because I'm one of those people that goes, yeah, there is something going on in this world, and I want to know what it is. And um, he he gave appropriate warnings and so on, and um, and I chose to watch it. It was about a, a minute and a half long, and no one was um, directly harmed in this video, but there was all of the signs that that harm was going to take place. Let me just say that. And it was it was very a very distressing 
um, 90 seconds for me to watch. And even thinking about it now as I'm, as I'm telling you this, it is generating a, an emotional reaction in me um, as I remember it, because I can't unsee it now. And in one respect, I wish I didn't watch it. But on the other hand, I'm glad I did, because it really did suggest to me that, yeah, it's not just being told to me, um, you know, it's not like just something that I've read to suggest some some um, horrific things are happening on, on this planet, but I got to see a, a potential evidence of it. And... Um, and it just made it awfully real that, yeah, there is some really dark things going on on this planet that need to be eradicated. And, um, but the reason, one of the reasons I share that story is, um, after watching it, um, I just, I just burst into tears. I just wept from somewhere deep down that just had a really hard time seeing what I saw. And, um and and I believe it was just my body releasing and processing and releasing um the disturbance if you like that was created in me from watching this 90 second video so it gives me a fresh uh appreciation that it's really important about how we take care of our empathy, how we take care of, of our heart, essentially, um, what we expose it to. Because there's this thing called vicarious trauma, where, whereby we can be traumatized by hearing stories of trauma, or, or uh, I, I, I guess also seeing videos of trauma or potential uh, traumatic events. Um, that can cause us to experience it vicariously. So we can start having flashbacks and uh, emotional disturbances as a result of the things that we put um, in front of us. Um, so it's just very important that we take care of ourselves in that respect. Um, now, a way of looking at it is that uh, just um, one way of describing this in a different way is that we consume things um, uh, like through our mouths. We consume food and we digest it. Um, with our nose, essentially, we um, inhale oxygen and exhale oxygen. And our eyes, essentially, are no different. However, we don't often think of it this way, that it's really important what we put through our eye gate. And that what we put through our eye gate is going to affect our, our mind and our emotions and our heart. And so we want to be taking care and guarding the eye gate, what we allow through it. And then essentially our eyes are consumers of the visual uh, stimulus. And so we need to be on, on guard and wise about what we put through our eye gate. Another thing I wanted to um, highlight is the why. What, what is the why of looking into the things going on on this planet? Um, I think it's an important uh, question because sometimes um, we can we could be researching things or um, yeah just looking into things um, partly because of some kind of unresolved issue in ourselves. An example is that we required rescuing from our own childhood. Or we needed rescuing and didn't receive it growing up in some way. And that becomes an unresolved issue and, and a wounding and a hurt. And so that could compel somebody to be, um, you know, in a sense, like doing research into other people that require rescuing and they're in difficult circumstances and need to be rescued. And that can be, that unresolved issue in the self could be driving that research leading to um, the, the one doing the research harming themselves because essentially they're doing a lot of re um, a lot of research into people that need rescuing but can't be rescued at least not by them directly and so knowing that kind of information can be very important in regards to taking care of the self so what is the why of why I'm researching um, 
these things. So it's really important to ask the question, is my, my pursuit for the truth and maybe that justice part of me and that so that need to need for justice on this planet and and um, and that desire to rescue people from harm could that very pursuit of trying to do that actually be harming myself which is kind of counterproductive in a sense so I just got interrupted there but um, essentially is um, pursuing the truth, harming myself in some other ways that I need to be aware of and uh, uh, take responsibility for. So there's an old saying that bad company corrupts good character. And that's not to say that seeking out the truth of, of these things will necessarily corrupt a person to becoming those things. But it can, cor it can corrupt, if you like... Um, uh, parts of ourselves that get exposed to some of the dark darkness that's going on uh, around um, around the world, and um, that one needs to just be wise about how much they expose themselves to that. Because the reality is, is that once you've read it or once you've seen it, you cannot unread it um, or unsee it, and so you now you then need to learn how to live with what you know and what you've seen. And so I think like what I've already said is you might have giftings or abilities to research a specific, specific area and there might be vulnerabilities to exposing yourself to other areas and that you just need to be wise about how far you go into that sort of research and know when to pull, pull back, know when to go, okay, I, I know enough to know basically what's going on I don't need to go any further. And it's that knowing that keeps us from harming ourselves. However, we have that awareness and we step over it. Now we're harming ourselves. And that's something that um, uh, we shouldn't be doing to ourselves. The other issue is that we can, uh, I think, looking into um, uh, these areas, looking into what's going on on this planet, seeking out the truth behind things that are going on, uh, you know, looking behind the scenes um, and seeing some of the, um, I guess, of a, conspirat a conspiratorial nature. Um, there can be something addictive about it. So there can be um, uh almost become addicted to, to the drama of it, addicted to the intrigue of it. And um, that, that's, a, that's a dangerous uh, thing to happen. And so, again, it comes back to this, uh, the eye gate of also being aware to um, turn your, your attention and um, your eyes, essentially, to things of a more light-hearted nature, of something that brings joy, that brings the light, that brings peace, that brings a balance, if you like, to to the reality of, of what what is going on. So that could look like um, discovering or looking into some of the great things that are going on uh, around the world. Um, you know, some feel-good stories, some breakthrough stories, you know, people overcoming, people um, addressing hardships and over, overcoming them. Uh, it could just be going for a walk. It could be patting your pet, um, having a lighthearted conversation, watching a comedy, a comedy uh, uh, movie or something like that. Something that breaks the focus off this other sort of um, research and um, intrigue that um, is heavy. It's a it's a heavy thing to do, and one shouldn't do it um, all the time or most of the time. For some people, it could be a hard thing not to do most of the time because it it just seems too. Uh, it's just too interesting. It, it, there's just so much to learn and to discover and to understand, and that's understandable. Um, and so, um, it's not about necessarily trying to cut that off but bringing balance, bringing um, other awarenesses to um, uh, break, uh, break the pattern, if you like, of just looking into, into heavy, dark topics that could um, be 
uh, damaging to the self. Another thing to keep in mind is uh, around maybe taking a break from from researching, from from seeking truth um, around these more heavier, dark topics. To um, take a week off. It's still going to be there a week later. Take a break from it. Um, get a fresh perspective that there are certainly there's other things going on in the world and sometimes it's okay or in fact it's absolutely okay to um, step away from that and go and go and do something um, uh, light-hearted fun enjoyable um, to recharge the batteries essentially to um, clear out some of what you've been um, researching uh, it all it can all take a toll so taking a break it's like a cleansing process um, and for some empaths that actually might feel like a betrayal to the very people that they they are sensing need rescuing and and are needing to be saved from some of the things going on around the world however we need to um, have some humility and we need to have some perspective in that these these things that are going on around the world are of, of a such a gigantic uh, uh, are happening in such a gigantic way that are both very deep and very insidious and very far reaching that um, one person really can't do a lot about that level um, of corruption um, and evil and so Taking a step back is really not going to um, uh, uh, is not a betrayal. It's not um, a, an abandoning of those that need rescuing. Um, there are other people involved, and and I would say that they're at this stage in the journey, uh, like right now on this planet, there is a <clears throat> an exposing of all of this. Um, slowly but surely behind the scenes it's all it's, a lot of this stuff's going to come to the surface and so um, part of it is just a waiting and seeing and I would just suggest protecting your heart in the meantime now I'm going to address this topic um, from slightly different angles and sometimes not so slightly different angles on my other channel the Scott Eric Morgan uh, YouTube channel I'll leave a link in the description to that video where I look at this topic from a more spiritual perspective. Um, and uh, if that interests you, um, uh, feel free to check out that video. So anyway, if this video resonates with you, I just um, ju it's just a, really an encouragement to take care of yourself, to take care of your intuition, to take care of your, um, your empathy, and um, put some boundaries in place to protect yourself uh, from these things. Um, whilst at the same time um, continuing to, in a sense, follow your intuition to, to um, uh, keep pursuing the truth of what's really going on on the planet, um, but just doing it with some wisdom and some boundaries. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you again in another video.